Hey everybody, how's it going? It's been a while. So, a couple weeks ago I went out and did something I always wanted to do. I tried stand-up for the first time and... Somebody told me I should come here and try stand-up. Uh, I think there might have been a bit of a miscommunication. <laughs> well, not stand-up, but stand-up, yeah. I don't know, I kind of thought it was a stem cell clinic or something. Uh, Anyway, so if you didn't see that video, go watch it now, or, you know, finish watching this one, or go and then go watch it, or finish watching this one, then go watch the other one, then come back and watch this one again, because then I get more views, so, whatever you want to do, you, you work it out yourselves. Mamma mia! Just watch them both, about seven or eight times. Yeah, I can barely hear myself think! What was I thinking about? Oh yeah, boobs. Anyways, so... Happy Easter, everyone. Yeah, about 2,000 years ago, they nailed Jesus to some sticks, and he got better, so... We got better? That's how we got Easter, and, um... But I'm more interested in where that rabbit and those eggs and the chocolate and all that stuff comes from. Well... Apparently, I did a little bit of research. Just a little bit. Enough so I'm not sounding like a total bumbling fool, but it didn't work, did it? Because it never does. Because I always sound like a fool. Because I am a fool. Anyway, so, um, apparently it's a German Lutheran thing that, uh, the hair is a symbol of Easter, which when it came to America, it got all of a sudden made into a rabbit. Rabbit season! Rabbit mm -hmm. season! Duck season! Fire! But the hair's uh, symbol of Easter because apparently hairs are hermaphroditic. Which means they can, uh, they can reproduce without losing their virginity, which of course makes the association with the Virgin Mary there. And uh, goes up to her, hey baby, how's it going? Wanna come back to my place? Uh, oh, I don't know about that. Oh, I'm engaged. Oh, come on. It'll be immaculate. Yeah, so... The eggs, I guess, uh... It's an orthodox thing that you're not supposed to eat eggs during Lent, and of course, Easter is the end of Lent, so somehow that turned into the magic Easter hare brings eggs now, she can pig out. But now they're mostly made of chocolate, because, well, let's face it, chocolate's better, right? Yeah, so, I mean, I, uh, happy Easter, I guess. Uh, and if you're Jewish or Muslim or Hindu or one of the non-Jesus religions, uh, well, have a good Sunday. Eat some chocolate. It'll be cheap tomorrow when it's on sale. All right, thanks a lot. Bye. I guess that's it for me. Have a good night.